Hi guys, welcome back to another quarantine series workout. Some days you don't have time to dedicate a full hour to working out when it's one of those days and you just need a quick routine to tone up everything and give you a nice little burn and sweat, then give this workout a whirl. It's only about half an hour and it works the total body, plus you don't need any equipment. So if you're ready, throw down your mat and let's get started. Okay, so let's make this a nice, quick sweat today. I've got a little visitor, as you can see. Arms are gonna come up overhead, chest is lifted, navel drawn in. Let's start with some big knee lifts here. Oh, don't go away, don't go away. I think this guy is gonna be my little shadow today because it's been a little bit of a challenging morning for him. So we to go to the vet. Nothing, nothing major, just getting a microchip. So that I can track his movements and add a pull down here just because for those of you who have missed the update we're moving out of moth apartment and into a new apartment and both for the moving process and also because we will have a terrace that he can explore we needed to get him chipped so he's been chipped and take a twist here so elbow pulling down toward the opposite knee And this cat, although he is very much like the king of the castle here at home, he's the biggest crying drama queen when you get him out of it. Go for four, three, two, one. Good. Take heels together, first position, toes turned out. We're just gonna take a nice little demi plie and squeeze back up. So butt stays tucked, navel in tight, knees are pushing really wide. It was quite the scene. It's about a like 15 minute walk to the vet. And like, oh my God. Everyone like on both sides of the street was like turning to stare. Cause as soon as he goes out the front door, he starts doing the most insane, just like loud, like wailing. So yeah, it's just like solid 15 minute walk there with like loud wailing. Same on the way back. The like microchip itself to get those in takes two seconds. But, uh. So yes, he's had extra treats this morning, but now he's gonna be very like needy, I think. Go for a few more here. Really squeezing, zipping the legs up nice and tight together. And then we're gonna take this all the way up to releve. So demi plie. Whoop, down and play, all the way up to the balls of the feet. So keeping that nice height and posture. So I've done all the walks this morning because I went out for my walk before that so that I could actually enjoy my walk before having to like wear a backpack with Waylon Cat. Yeah. A little bit of balance here as well. Go for four, three, two, last one. Stay up and just lift, lift. So little pulses, navel still drawing in tight. You're not touching the heels fully down to the floor. Just finding a little balance there. Give me six, five, four, three, two, one, whoop, release. So we release back into first position here. We'll just take a little plie step jack. So arms are gonna come in front. You'll step out to one side, big wide second position. Step back in, other side. Step back in, just big push off that foot, float it in. So for those of you in Madrid or elsewhere, if you've like, well, in, let's say in Spain, because Spain, we've like just been allowed outside to start like exercising and taking walks. If you're in Spain, how's this allergy season treating you? I feel like, okay, how you see allergies here. The last like bad allergy year I had was 2016. 
And since then, it's been okay. It's just been like a little tickle here and there, but not too bad. Do one more on each side here. Um, but this year, it's like hitting really hard. And I think it's because, take this to a jump. So right here, all the way up. Um, I think it's because I've just been like locked inside for two months. So I haven't gotten the like gradual, like, allergy build, you know, because I'm not used to it. So I mean, I haven't been able to like build my resistance to all the allergens. But this year it's just like two months confined. Now we're out into the thick of allergy season. Go for four, three, two, and one. Good. Ooh, stay by there. Give it a little shake out. But we have been diffusing all of the lavender essential oil. So, pro tip, if you get really bad seasonal allergies and you want to treat them naturally, lavender essential oil works really well. So, toes pointing straight forward here, feet are still wide. Go ahead, inhale, reach arms up overhead, open up the chest, exhale, find a little bit of forward fold. So, keep the, um, the head lifted to the line of the hips for now. You can put a soft bend on the knees. Give it a little wiggle around. We'll take a quick stretch here. And then we'll get into the standing portion of events. There we go. So you can start this lunge a little bit deeper. Maybe take the hands down to the floor once the heart rate has come back down a bit. And then come back through center, turn out the right foot, walk the hands on either side, just fold down there. Woo, I'm covering the cat here. <laughs> We're out of lint rollers and I couldn't find it at the supermarket the other day. So not a great time for like everything I own to be black, really. Go ahead, take, oh my god, my visitor. Take the right hand to ankle or shin, peel the left arm up, find a big triangle there. And release, turn that right foot forward, walk hands back through center and over to the left. Luna, could you get out? Could you get, get, get. Okay. So melt down here and then take the left hand ankle motion, peel the right arm up, find that nice big triangle. So again, you're pulling top hip back, tucking bottom hip under, finding a long line of energy there. Circle that right arm back down, turn the foot forward, walk hands back into center, heel to the feet, back into hip distance. Wow, so much cat hair. Put a bend in the knees, and then slowly, slowly roll back up to standing. Okay, I'm gonna close this, just so you can't see the absolute chaos that's happening out there, because like I said, we are preparing to move in a week, so it is like chaos, it is chaos. So feet are going to come quite wide here, super wide. Toes are turned out, arms will start in a first position. Again, we're finding that flat back here. So you're gonna slide down, squeeze shoulder blades together, bring it back up. Slide down, keeping butt tucked, pressing shoulder blades back, nice long spine here. Heels are pushing down and knees wide. Just, you know, just a few things to think about. Now Luna's going crazy. Why are you going crazy? You didn't even have to go to the bed this morning. She's already got her chip. She's already been chipped. I think she was worried about her brother. Just, you know, any noises you hear, ignore them. It's just Luna being, being Luna, being a cat. You guys say you like seeing the cats in the videos. Well, cats will be cats. Go <laughs> for three, two, last one, stay low. And you're just going to press everything back. So a little wiggle here with the knees and squeezing shoulder blades as well. Stay low, so that doesn't mean you need to come up here and do it there. <laughs> stay low, a little squeeze, 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 squeeze. Can you go a little lower? Yes, always lower. Give me eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, stay low on one, and pulse it right here. So we'll just go for a nice quick burn here. Good routine to do if you want to like still, still build the little bit of sweat, get the heart rate up, get the legs to burn, but you don't have a ton of time. So like maybe it's a day where you're like, I'm gonna go for a long walk today, for example. But like, oh, also I wanna do a little bit of strength training. Here you go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. We're gonna pick up the right heel as you do. Arms are just gonna lift up to fifth position, bring it back down. So only that right heel for now. Press low into the tailbone, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Hold it here so that heels pop, we're pulsing it out. Good. Keep pressing both knees back for five, four, three, two. Stay there. One, I want you to just press arms back, back, back. So chest is nice and open. You're squeezing shoulder blades together. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Other heel. So left heel up. Down, same thing with the arms. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Are you keeping that butt tucked? Chest lifted, yeah. Ooh. So who knows, it might only be like one or two more videos that are in this space. I don't know, depends on how I'm looking for getting some filming in. Stay low here and pulse. And then there'll be a fresh new space. Like I said, should be much brighter, which will be nice. Yeah. We'll see how, how quickly I can set up for filming there. I think it should be fine. Just push all the boxes to one side, meh. Go over five, four, three, two, one. Keep that heel pop, press back, back. Back, back. Keep dropping low. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Now open back wide here again. We've got to pick up both heels. So we're going to bring arms back to first, up to fifth. Both heels lift. We go down, open. So in, everything lifts. Touch it down, open. In, lift, down, open, in, up, down, open, in, up, down. Nice little rhythm here. To put on some music while you're doing this. So last weekend, when I was meant to be like buying like actually useful like homewares, um, Instead, I drank two Aperol spritzes and then ordered things like a record player and a bunch of records. What? Here's three, two, let's hold this last one and pulse. So yeah, currently in the new apartment, we will not have a couch, but we will have a record player and things like, most importantly, The Boss, born in the USA. Um, I also ordered two The Killers records. I've got The National, go for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, all the way up. I'm trying to remember what else. Oh my God, I mean, various things. Records are expensive. Oh, the Lumineers, that's the most expensive one. Step the feet back together. All kinds. If you have recommendations, leave them down below. But it's not that easy to get records and they're kind of expensive. So that might have to wait until like after we have like a couch and stuff. Um, so from here, go ahead and come down onto your mat. Can you believe it? We're not going to be planking in, uh, in this routine today. 
but I mean, close enough. Close enough. So from hands and knees, you guys will recognize this one. Drop to the right forearm. Left hand stays down. You're shifting weight over to that right side. Left knee is going to open up. So top of the left foot is to the right heel. Those knees are wide. So it's never going to come in like this. Knees are not friends. You exhale. A little attitude lift to the back. Inhale, touch it back in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, touch. Lift and lower. I'm trying to think of some of the other records I wanted to get but could not find. Um, oh my god, what was the one? There was one I looked at where I was like, that'd be so excellent. And it was like 140 euro or something. Oh, you know what I think it was? Well, I did order it. Okay, I ordered one by the Decemberist, Crane Wife. And then I think there was a different December. Or no, it was Colin Malloy Seems Live. That was like 140 euro. What? No. No, too crazy. But yeah, I've been like thinking of things here and there. I'm like, ooh, I would like to listen to that. Nope. <laughs> Price says no. Should order some Bobby D. That's what we need. A little Bobby D in our lives. Go for three. Two, last one, keep it up, and pulse. I mean, largely, I've ordered like more contemporary things, I guess, except for the boss, because he transcends all. I mean, that was really the most important one that was ordered. So imagine you have a little laser beam in the kneecap here, tilt it upward. So you're really opening the hips, Little test here. You should be able to pick up the left hand right now. Woo, jazz hands. Um, it shouldn't alter the weight distribution at all. So you've got that hand down for balance, but all the weight is on the right side. Keep it pulsing there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, squeeze the heels tight to the as you can. Exhale, extend. So on that extension, sometimes you can get a little bit more opening of the hip, just because you've got that tiny bit of like, it's controlled momentum, let's call it, this doesn't even make sense. But yeah, it's controlled momentum. So you're extending, so sometimes it's easier to open outward on the extension, but keep that extension super controlled. So you don't wanna do like a big kick where you're snapping the knee. You're just slowly, slowly extending. Should be feeling a big burn in both the active outer thigh glute as well as the supporting. Maybe you feel it a little bit more in the supporting for now. That will change over time as it becomes easier for you to activate the active side. Go for three, two, keep it long on one, pulse. So it's gonna be that outer thigh that's up to the ceiling. Top of the thigh is gonna be forward toward me or whichever direction you're facing. If you've decided you don't want to look at me today, fair enough, very well. Keep it pulsing here. Super controlled for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then finally, we're gonna to put together. So bend, touch back down. It's gonna be a lift, extend, bend, lower, lift, extend, bend, lower. I know you're like, this was supposed to be a quick routine. Hi, buddy. How cute is this thing? I know, he's had a very challenging morning. You've had a very challenging morning. But we got home and he got to have a big, fine, <laughs> a big bowl of Thai tuna. Yeah, here's three. two, and one, and go ahead and release. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi there. Okay. All right. I'm going to flip it around. There here we go. He got a big kiss from his sister. Oh, sorry, bud. From his sister. Yeah. I know. You were very worried. Okay. So, left elbow now comes down. You're propped up on the right hand. Right knee opens up. Okay, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. See, look, he can be very nice. No, he's always very nice. He's, uh, this cat here, 
He's super affectionate. He's super lovey. Um, but sometimes he's a little bit of a monster because he's still a little baby. He's my little baby. But yeah, he is super cute. If you guys wonder at all, sometimes I mean, people ask me his breed. He is a Siberian. Um, we had a Siberian before and I mean, you get attached, you get real attached because he's basically like, look at him, he's like a dog. Like Siberians are known for being cats that are like dogs. Like he's just super easygoing and lovey. You can kind of do whatever you want with him. He's a massive food troll, but you know, what do you do? He's a big boy, he's a grown boy. Keep it up and pulse. So tilt that knee up toward the ceiling. He's a growing boy. I believe he is around eight kilos. Like last time we weighed him, I believe he was around eight kilos, which in pounds, do, 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 do. Um, no, that can't be right. That would be around 17, 18 pounds, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that can't be. I don't know, maybe. That would be in the range. That would be in the range for like your average like male Siberian. Go for four, three, two, one. Inhale, squeeze heel in tight. Exhale, extend. But they continue to grow up until five, five years old. So he just turned three, you guys might remember. Um, there was a, I mentioned it in one of these videos. Um, yeah, he just turned three, so he's still growing. He has not reached his full size. They're big. They're big cats. Though I think not as big as Maine Coons. Maybe I think Maine Coons are a little bit bigger. And last one here, keep it long, straight, pulse. His sister, Luna, in case you're wondering, is, she's not, she's not a pure breed. She has Persian in her, she's part Persian. So she has a slightly flat face and long hair, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're, I mean, we don't really know exactly what she is. We got her from an old woman who was like giving her up sad. Go for four, three, two, one. Bend, touch. We've had Luna actually a little bit longer. We had Luna for, I think about six months before we got her brother. And her life was so incomplete then without her brother. Ooh, oh, she burns, she burns. A few more here. What? Hi. I know. You had a very challenging morning. Here's three. What? Two. And one. Oh, and bring it down. Is this just the cutest thing in the whole world? Yes, you are. Okay, but how is Kong going to do her exercises? Okay, I guess we'll go this way. You win. The cats always win. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, fur everywhere. It's like a hurricane of fur. Good Lord, okay. Go ahead, come down on your back. Knees into a tabletop position here. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Press the lower back down. On your exhale, you're just gonna take a little crunch. Reach, hold for a second. Release. Exhale, reach. Release. Reach. Release. So you're not lifting up fully here. Lower back will still stay connected to the mat always. You're just doing a little you know, crunch, you know, crunch, crunch. For three, two, we'll stay on one. Hold it here and just pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, bring it down, keep legs as they are. Now with the leg extension, so inhale. On the exhale, crunch, right leg extends, bring it in. I hope you can see, probably not, I don't think it's like high quality enough that you can see the progression of cat hair on my leggings over the course of this workout. Go for three, two, last one, and now you bring hands behind the nape of the neck, and we're going to go for a crisscross. So just twisting through the torso, reaching opposite shoulder <laughs> toward opposite knee, full extension on the legs. If that's uncomfortable from the neck, keep the head resting and just bicycle the legs. Go for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it back to tabletop, arms back overhead. Inhale, on the exhale this time. Left leg and release. Hello. Left leg and release. And go for three. Two, and one, and then back tight, crisscross again. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one, head down, tap knees in. Oop, just gather them in here for a second. We will release the hands and you're gonna do a double tuck to an extension. So hands can just come down at either side. I always like to just bring my hands under my head. It feels like a little pillow. Um, you're gonna pull the knees in toward you, lift up the tailbone, roll back down, exhale, extend. So tuck, extend. As always, just be really conscious of where you send the legs to. So you could go lower, for a little bit more of a challenge, higher if the lower back is straightening. And go for four, three, two, keep it long on one, and we'll do an alternate retraction. So right knee in, extend, left knee in, extend, right, reach, left, reach right and left for four. Oh, so much cat hair stuck to my face three two one legs that long take a little flutter kick here so that movement remember is from the hips you can have a slight bend in the knees but you're not doing this this does nothing for the abs so the knees will be locked wherever they are. They could be locked with a bend, but they're locked. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and bring it in and down. Woo, there we go. All that remains, we're just gonna stretch it out. So go ahead, cross right ankle over left knee, nice little number four. You're flexing the right foot and then pull that left leg in. So you can either grab behind the left thigh or on the shin. I've really been enjoying that lately. Just make sure the tailbone stays down so you don't want to be like ugh, rocked up there. So that might mean loosening your grip a little bit, but keep the tailbone down, flat back here, flat surface. And release. Go ahead and switch sides. He's over here now playing with his stick. I don't know if you can hear him. Yes, I said a stick. He has a stick. It's not even just like a stick we picked up off the ground. It is a stick that was purchased at the pet store for his birthday. It is his birthday stick. Um, yeah, I guess like the employees of the pet store, I didn't buy the stick. The employees of the pet store were like, yeah, this is a stick that cats really like. And that is true. <laughs> they love the stick. So I don't know if it's been like treated with like catnip or something. Just massage out the hips a little bit here. Cause they both go bonkers for it. And it's like, it literally just looks like a stick. 
Very weird. And then rock forward and back. Woo! Go ahead and flip around. Come to hands and knees. These cats have so many toys, it's ridiculous. We're gonna be doing a clear out. There's gonna be a moving clear out. Go ahead, come into a um, regular pigeon here. So right knee forward, left leg extends long behind. Sink down into it, you can lower to the forearms. Too many toys, they're so spoiled. I feel like today you're getting a really good like window into the sort of like cat parent that I am, which is basically just like, have everything you want. You're perfect. Everything you do is perfect. Go ahead and switch. Like one of my friends sent me a meme once that was just like, I can't remember. It was it like, it was just like, look at my cat. Everything he does is perfect. How is he, he so perfect? Look at how he drinks water. It's so cute and perfect. Look at how he eats. It's so cute. That is me, pretty much. Yep. Everything he does is perfect, though. Like, how is it possible? Look at that thing. God. Not fair. Hey, like, what did he do in a past life to become this? I don't know. And go ahead and press back up. Come back to hands and knees. We'll take a cat cow. In honor of the cats, inhale, hollow. Big cat energy today. Exhale round. Um, I think it's probably better than hearing about the moths, though. Am I right? Let me know down below. Which would you rather hear about? The cats or the moths? Think about it. And then come back to a flat back, tuck the toes under here, roll back to down the dog, give it a quick little pedal out, little pedal, little pedal roo, and start to walk the feet forward toward the hands, heels down, sit the butt back, slowly squeezing the butt, roll your way back up to standing, inhale, arms sweep up overhead, palms here at the top, exhale the hands down through heart center, whoo, and there we go, beautiful job you guys, I hope you enjoyed this nice quick quick express bar routine. If you did, let me know by giving it a like and of course hitting that subscribe button to see more quarantine workouts and hopefully more non-quarantine workouts sometime in the future. Either way, I will see you in the next one. Bye!